hello so this is a, a not scripted I'm just gonna sit down and kind of talk about where things are at and this is a life update channel update and kind of just telling my side of things I guess uh, if you guys have been following my channel for a really really long time you obviously know that I have a family with Ember Wild and Jaylena and if you follow Jaylena's channel you know that we she put out a video saying that we broke up which is true we've been kind of broke up separated for a while we just didn't really know quite how to tell the internet and I just want to clear a few things up number one Jaylena and I still love each other right and we're still friends we were friends before we were in a romantic relationship and we're still friends now that we're not in a romantic relationship so it's like I'm gonna start the video with this right now and we have a beautiful baby girl that we both love and will do anything for and you know obviously our lives and doing what we want to do is important but like providing a healthy environment for her and doing what we can for our child is important so I want to touch on a few things I've been reading some of the comments on her video and it's like it's pretty crazy to me like what people are thinking and what they're uh, number one before I was even on YouTube or even new Jaylena I was a successful business owner long before YouTube I lived in a bus and I made good money doing social media and building buses before I even started a YouTube channel and I met Jaylena and we had pretty pretty rad ride and we got pregnant it wasn't expected um, just to touch on that Jaylena I'm trying to be careful of how detailed I get into this because I don't want to put too much out there but I just want to touch on a few things Jaylena was medically uh, diagnosed or told that she couldn't have children so when she told me that she was pregnant obviously I we both were not expecting it we both didn't know what to do but the one immediate thought my knee-jerk reaction when she told me that was we would do what's right for the child instantly like I had no I had no uh, you know that was that was always forefront in my mind like and I would too right I would so it's like now most people our age at, at that point we weren't even dating very long honestly and, and they wouldn't put it on the internet but they wouldn't have had the child I'm just gonna hit y'all with some some reality they wouldn't have um, and they wouldn't have told anybody about it but Ember Wild was a miracle baby and I knew that that wasn't even a possibility like there's no way this child is literally a miracle there she needs to be what well, we didn't know if it was it wasn't Ember at that time it was we didn't know if it was a boy or girl but it's like I knew that this child wanted needed to be in the world and it's like I knew at that point that Jaylena would do whatever it took no matter what happened in our relationship to do what's right for the child and I knew without a doubt in my mind I would do whatever it took to create a life for that child no matter what happened between me and Jaylena's relationship Jaylena and I so I just want to start there when we found out we were pregnant I mean you know I'm sure a lot of you guys have been there that was number one we would do what's right now we had a, a great relationship you know like I said already we still love each other and I want to put the elephant out of the room too like nothing happened like I didn't do anything shady she didn't do anything shady like there's, there's nothing bad that happened 
we just personally have just grown apart as a romantic couple, I should say. And I'm not going to get into detail. We weren't dating long when we got pregnant. And then when we got pregnant, you know, there was kind of no turning back at that point. And we did what was we needed to do. Right? Now, one of the first things I thought about, too, when Ember was born, or when I found out she was, we were pregnant, was I immediately told myself I'm not in position to have a child. I live in a school bus, and I sacrifice my comfort for my own personal reasons, business-wise, right? That's not fair. So it's like what I sacrificed for myself, I didn't want to put on a child. I knew I wasn't in a position to have a child, but we had to do what we had to do. So we built the big bus to accommodate. Now, things happened. Ember developed motion sickness. Uh, the owners of the shop that I was leasing sold the property. Like, there were some things that happened that kind of pushed things the way that they've been pushed. Now, so I want to say this, most dads wouldn't have had the kid. Most dads wouldn't be there as soon as the kid's born. I, you know what I mean? The fathers disappear and run off and do whatever they want. I sold everything. I gave up everything so that I could provide for our family. Jaylena and Ember too. Everybody thinks I got rich selling buses. All that money is sitting in a house. You think you just go get a house for free? No. Uh, it was a mandatory 20% down payment. Uh, there was tons of fees. All of my money, all of the money that the business made purchased the house and the property. Jaylene and I were talking because it's like when they sold the shop, we basically had two choices, a few choices. We could get a storage unit, hit the road full time with the bus and live our little bus life thing, right? Which is kind of what I wanted to do. I think that's kind of what she wanted to do. We could rent another shop or a very remote pos or I could buy raw land that didn't have a house on it, live in the bus. So it's like, there's all these things. And as the more Jaylene and I kind of went down this mental road, we decided that having, having a home base that Ember could grow up in, a place we felt comfortable she could go to school. Uh, that's why I spent all the money I did to get this house. I could have bought something cheaper. I could have lived in a bus and not spent any money. I went way over budget on this just because we like the school here. We felt comfortable with Ember having friends down the road. Like this is a place Ember could grow up, which is why I gave up everything for it. You know, and Jaylena's dream was to always, you know, travel. She got pregnant and I think, you know, obviously we're, we're both doing the best we can with the cards we're dealt. But, so no, I don't have a bunch of money laying around. It's all sitting in a house that I bought to put a roof over our family's head. And that's what it's for and that's what it'll continue to be for. Just so everybody knows, Jaylena and I still live together. We're still planning on living together. We're still gonna be friends. We're still parenting together. We're just not in a romantic relationship. So I think I think that's something that's, I think needs to be a little more clear. People think that we broke up and like she's moving and I'm moving, like, we're still planning on living together and raising our child. We're just not romantically involved anymore for our own personal reasons that don't need to be on the internet. So yeah, I just, I just wanted to say that. And we're both gonna continue to do what we need to do for ourselves and for our child. Now, 
I bought a truck and a truck camper and I was doing solo truck camping videos and I want to talk about that. If you're if you are not self-employed or a business owner, you'll never understand. If you are, you will understand. Yes, I took the money from the bus business and put it in the house. Right? But all that money that came in a percentage of that is for taxes right so <sighs> I gotta be careful here instead of just giving that money to taxes I am a business owner I could rather use that money to create another business so when I stopped the bus building business my plan was, so I bought a truck camper, tax write-off. I bought things for the truck, tax write-off, to be a part of the truck camper, tax write-off. And then the plan was to do truck camping videos once a week to create income. Since I'm not building buses every week to create income, right? So the truck camper was a business decision. Now, Ember's motion sickness developed after we bought the house. Uh, I'm not going to drag our child out every single week and have her puke out everything in her stomach for hours so that I can work. That's why you don't see her in the truck camping videos. Or, And one of us has to stay home with the child. We don't have family help here. We basically have to alternate. She'll watch Ember, I'll watch Ember. And we both do this. So when I see people like, oh, why is he truck camping alone? It's like, it's a business decision, right? It was a business tax write-off. To be able to write off the taxes, I have to create income, which is make YouTube videos. I am at this point a full-time YouTuber. I stopped building buses and selling them. I just want it, that's been bothering me for a while when I see people asking me about that. Uh, it's a job. I go camping to create money. But it's not necessarily, uh, it's not working, right? You guys aren't watching the videos because you want to see us as a family, which I understand knowing that now. And, and I'm the type of person, it's like I understand that when something's not working, I have to adjust. So, you know, uh, I'm doing what I can. Jaylena is doing what she can. And I know that she's been getting a lot of slack for the van build. That was always a dream of hers. And I want her to create that dream, right? I don't, I don't know why people are so negative about her creating that. Like that is a house she will always have, no matter what happens. If something happened to me, these bills can't get paid. There's no house, she would have that, right? So it's like, I don't understand the negativity directed towards the truck or that. They were never meant to run away from each other. The truck was just a business decision. And then Jaylena's van is a way for her to create some security. And I don't wanna be putting words in her mouth either, so please don't quote me on this, but create some security for herself and be able to just travel a little bit and get a little piece of the life she was dreaming about before we had a child. We have both sacrificed a lot and done a lot to provide a home for our child, but we also are, are trying to not lose ourselves either. So it's like, and I've never told her no. I've never told her she can't do anything. She's never told me that. Like we 100% support each other in our dreams and our wishes and our goals. I wanna see her be happy and go out for a week or two. And I'll gladly stay home with Ember and let her have that. Um, she wants to travel to go te to Texas and go see her family. You know, and then fly, you know what I mean? It's like, I guess what I wanna say is we have both and are both we have both sacrificed and are sacrificing things for our family 
for our child. Uh, we are both, we're still best friends. We were friends before we were romantic, we're friends now. And we're both doing what it takes. You know, it's like, yeah, she could run off and just leave Ember with me and go live her life however she wants. She's not. Yeah, I could do whatever the heck I want and not care about her or Ember. And like, that's a reality of a lot of people's lives. That's not what this is. We're basically doing the best we can with what, with the options that we have. And we're, we're both gonna, you know, and we're family forever. Like, we're good, you know? Like, we, we don't hate each other. We're both supporting each other and helping each other. So, when I sat down to make this video, I had no idea what I was gonna say. I just wanted to sit down and talk about it with y'all. I hope that makes sense. Now, things are hard. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. We're figuring things out. I'm probably, if, if I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm probably gonna start another business. Because also, it's like at this point, YouTube is covering the bills, but it's not really creating any security, if that makes sense, right? And I'm thinking long term, it's like I want to make sure that Jaylene and Ember are taken care of if something happens to me, right? And that's what YouTube isn't providing, is that security and that safety blanket. I love creating. Uh, somebody said in one of the comments that I just want to be famous and that's why I do all these things. Uh, if I wanted to be famous and do all these things, as soon as I didn't get views, I wouldn't do the things. I'm just a creative person. I've been showing up making videos before they made money. I've been making music before I made any money. Still don't make any money and I'm still making music. So it's like, I just love to create and I love creating. That's why I do the things that I do. The fact that I've had a little bit of success bites at people for some reason. I don't care if I'm making zero dollars. I'll still make YouTube videos and I'll still make music because I love doing it, period. And if I need to make money, I'll just start another business, which is what I'm about to do. So, I think I touched on everything I kind of wanted to talk about. Jaylene and I are still best friends. We still love each other. We still live together. There's no plans for that to change. We're both doing what we have to do to make it work. And yeah, I mean, we're fine. Everybody thinks, I don't know what they all think, but we're just not a couple, I guess you could say. Yeah. So uh, I think I touched everything. If I didn't, hop in the comment section and voice your questions and I will try to answer them. Uh, please don't be negative and like, you know, one of those people. I won't respond to you. I'll probably just block you and delete you. But I'm totally open to having a adult conversation about this in the comment section. So if anyone has concerns or anything they want to bring to light or want to know, I will be there and we'll have that conversation as long as we can be adults about it. And that's the one thing I love about Jaylena too is we can have these adult conversations instead of resenting each other and bottling things up, we can talk, which is why we're here now, so. Anyways, I think this one's long enough, probably. I don't even know how long I've been sitting here yapping. I hope everyone has a rad day. We're fine at the mountain. We're all happy. We're all doing the best we can. Nobody, you know what I'm saying? So anyways, uh, if you're a long time subscriber, this video pretty much is directed at you. <laughs> uh, if this just happens to be the first video that you've seen somehow, um, there's a lot of backstory here that you probably don't know about. And as far as the future of this channel, I'm trying to figure it out. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in another one.